G'day all. Uh, in this video today what we're going to do is a deep clean of these safety boots. Um, all the safety boots as you can see um, they've gone four years without any uh, treatment on them whatsoever um, and that's what happened. So the customer has asked me to uh, conduct a deep clean refurbishment on them uh, which we'll do. So I'll step through the process today. Um, we'll get all the surface grime off it with a, just a, a light brush. Um, and then we'll go with a deep clean by using the saddle soap and water with the brush as well. After that's dried, we'll go on with um, some leather uh, conditioner. And after that's dried, we'll go on with the um, shoe cream polish. Um, and we'll put um, several coats of that on and buff it off in between each one. Uh, and then we'll assess it. If need be, we'll place a, a neutral wax over the top of it. And to buff off we'll use the uh, horse hair brush. So um, oh, let's attack it. Okay first of all we'll just use the um, light scrub scrubbing brush just to go over the boot get all the um, surface stuff off. And whatever doesn't come off with this then we'll, we'll attack with the, um, the saddle soap and water um, to really get it out. So I'll go ahead and do the, the entire boot with this, uh, you can see even just doing that, um, starting the cleaning process quite well. So I'll go through and do the whole lot and I'll bring you back in once I'm finished. Alright, so the first step's done there. We've removed all the laces, done the brush over it, and got a lot of the um, surfaced. Um, debris off. Um, we'll go on to the next step with the okay, saddle, saddle soap. We're using Joseph Liddy um, saddle soap at the moment. And that's what it looks like. We use it in conjunction with water to get a lather up. And we also may need to use the sponge with the scare on it just to get all the uh, the hard to move uh, grime off. We'll see how we go. Um, see which technique works better on the boot. So just dip it in water to get the help create a leather. And just work that in, concentrating on the, uh, the top of the boot leather. Um, so after we've finished doing the, uh, this part, we, we just let it um, very briefly and then use a cloth um, to wipe it all off. You don't want it sitting there drying because essentially this is all all the grime that you're getting rid of, you don't want that sitting on the boot, so pretty much wipe it off straight away. So I think that uh, to get all that sort of stained areas off there, we're really going to have to use the sponge, so we will have to go and get the scare out and give that a go. Firm when you're using it to get all that off because um, it doesn't really matter because uh, you're going to put the conditioner on top of that and then also the renovating cream so uh, it'll come back up to it should come up to all about to find out aren't we you better come uh, see what it finishes like so I'll, I'll keep working on this area uh, and I'll bring you back in Okay, so we've almost gotten to the stage where we've finished with the initial scrub with the saddle soap. Just draw your attention to these stains here. These are quite ingrained. Um, you can tell that well even when you just rub your thumbnail across it like so. Um, it's really ingrained into the leather. Uh, the ones at the top here as well. Uh, so, you know, there are some more extreme methods of getting all those deep grains out. Well, you can even go to the extent of using sandpaper, wet and dry, or even some um, more harsh chemicals. Um, right. 
think we're going to go to that extent for these boots being safety boots. Um, that's what they're uh, exposed to most of the time. So we'll just see if we can just keep chipping away with the um, saddle soap um, and get those some of those ingrown ingrown grain stains um, out without going too extreme lengths. So essentially, once we finish doing this part of it to get the um, saddle soap and all of the grime associated with it, you just go over the boot with the cloth, just wipe it clean. Uh, that will come off. So it's not done too bad of a job. You do have to apply a bit of a bit of force when you're um, trying to get the dirt off both with the saddle soap and also when you're wiping it down don't be afraid to put a bit of pressure on there uh, to get the grime out. And I'll keep working on that area and I'll bring you back in to see what the end result will be especially for the wipe down. Okay, so we're nearing the end of uh, the cleaning phase with the saddle soap. So once again, just using the scare this time. With a bit of pressure, firm pressure, onto those uh, trouble areas. And the toe itself. And we've done the whole boot now, um, so I'll go, go ahead now and just wipe it off. Just using a cloth. Uh, once again, Firm pressure on this stage as well will also help get rid of uh, any of the dirt on there as well. I'll go ahead and I'll just wipe down the whole boot and I'll bring you back to show you a comparison with the untouched boot. It's in the first phase and then we'll go on to the next part of it. Okay, we've finished the wipe down of the boot. Uh, what we'll do now is because we use a little bit of water on there we'll just uh, give it a chance to dry um, before we place the leather conditioner on it. Um, so straight away you can see there's a difference there in the um, just at this stage of the cleaning method. So I'll bring you back for just the recap that's the, uh, the old boot or the boot that we haven't touched yet, just for comparison. Okay, and here's the boot that we've cleaned just simply using the saddle soap. So we let it dry. It's come up quite nice. So the next step for us now is to put some leather conditioner on that and let the leather conditioner soak in uh, before we commence any more work with polish. So the conditioner, leather conditioner we're going to use is the Chamberlain's Leather Milk. So we're just giving it a shake and uh, we're going to apply it onto the boot using the cloth. Just rub it in. We'll do the whole surface of the boot and then we'll let it sit. And you can see that um, when you first apply it, it does um, darken the leather, but when it dries, it dries it. Um, it's not, not quite as dark as that when it dries. So I'll just go over the whole boot with uh, mother's milk or leather's leather milk and uh, just let it soak in. I'll let it soak in for oh, at least a couple of hours. Uh, any excesses that's left over after that will just buff it off with a brush and then we can apply the next coat of renovating polish. Alright, so I'll just go through and do the whole boot and then I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so we've finished placing the Chamberlain's leather milk on there. Um, so the, the whole boot was done and turned this colour here and you can see that it's already started to draw and absorb all of that conditioner in um, and it just shows you how dry that that leather was so I'll just let it sit for another couple of hours and and let that all draw in and uh, it'll turn back to its you know roughly roughly that color there and then we'll come back and uh, 
start the renovating process. So I'll, I'll bring you back in for that, show you the results before we okay, can the leather the next conditioner step. is mostly being absorbed into the boot, as you can see. Um, so what we'll do now, um, I'll just give it a quick uh, once over with the horsehair brush. Um, and then we'll go on with applying the next coat of polish. Okay, now, now on with the shoe cream, we're going to use the money worth, money worth and best polish or cream. You can see it, um, it's quite similar to the um, existing shade, so that's why we're going to use that particular colour. Uh, if you can't get the exact colour, um, you know, the lighter shade is probably the best to put on if you don't want to change the colour of the, the boot too much. So, what we'll do with the cloth is just work this into all of the leather on all of the boot, including the tongue. Uh, once we've done that, we'll let it sit for about 10 minutes or so. I'll just let that draw in and then buff off with the horse hairbrush and we'll repeat, repeat that process uh, three times and we'll review it after that sometimes uh, it takes a little bit longer to um, to get a good um, coat finish um, and considering that these boots haven't been had any, any anywhere near a sniff polish for a a year, a couple of years maybe. Uh, we'll, we'll review it after the third coat and see what else we need to do to it. So um, what I'll do is I'll just finish off the, the remainder of the boot and then bring you back in to see the results of that. Okay, we've finished the first coat of polish. Uh, we'll just hit it with the horsehair brush, give it a buff, see how it turns out, and then we'll add some more. All right, first coat buff off. It's coming up okay. And we'll whack another couple of coats on there. Continue the process. I'll bring you back in when I've finished Buffing off the third coat and see what the finished product looks like. Okay, there we have, we've done four coats of the Money's Worth and Best um, cream polish. So it um, is a very good finish. Um, especially when you compare it to what what it was. Just a reminder. And so the next thing I might like to do is I just want to put some Kiwi Wax polish on it. Um, what I'll do is I'll just test it on probably out the back here on the instep. We'll just test it on there. Uh, because essentially the wax, so wax polish, what it does is it um, Provides a level of waterproofing um, as well, uh, con considering these are safety boots and the, you know worn, worn on work sites. So part of their job is to come in contact with a lot of debris and dirt and water and everything else. So if we um, put a level of protection on them, will help um, keep them in a, in a good state as as opposed to a rough state. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll just do a test, um, and if it comes up good, I'll apply it to the whole boot. Alright, so here we have the Kiwi shoe polish. Uh, I've had this quite a while, this key in, so we'll see how good it still is. I'll just do a test bit here on the insole. I like to apply the polish um, with a cloth 
because um, I can feel it can really work it into the, the leathers and in the uh, you know creases and seams and stitches um, just a little bit better than what you might be able to do with a brush. Uh, applying with the brush still has its place, um, especially on boots like these where they really need the, the, the polish worked into it. I prefer a cloth over that. Alright, so I'll rub that in <coughs> and we'll just buff it off. Right, so I didn't really, you know, the uh, the appearance didn't change too much, so I feel comfortable in doing the, the yeah, the uh, entire boot so I'll go ahead and do that and I'll bring it back for the uh, you know, uh, final product. Right so I've done the last buff off that's all the Kiwi polish last final coat We've placed on it so it comes up all right comes up nice so you know one set of safety boots is the uh, the customer's got his own set of laces that he wants to put in that's why I haven't put it in there but um, you know taking it once again from a, a before to an after you know relatively simple process that really anyone can do um, so you know if you're wearing safety boots there's no no excuse really why you can't have a, a good set of um, good set of good looking boots to chuck your hoof into. Alright, thanks for your time. Mm -hmm.